Hello Primary 2-3, it's Mrs Patterson here and today I'm here to go through your Scots writing lesson for Thursday the 11th of February. Today we will be extending our understanding of Scots vocabulary and we will be developing our ability to use Scots language descriptively in writing. So we already know a little bit about Scots language and how to use it in our writing but today we're going to extend that learning which means to take it a little bit further and use more Scots language in our writing. So last week you used Scots language to write a descriptive piece for the monsters you created the previous week. And Mrs Walker and I were so impressed with the amount of Scots words you used in your description and we really enjoyed reading through your descriptive pieces. And here on this slide is Ella's fantastic description for her monster. Let's read it together. How many Scots words can you spot? Ma monster. Yin night, ma monster went to Akele with a her friends. There was loads of haggis, neeps and tatties for eating. A the folk were dancing and burling round the flare. Then the lights went off and everybody was scared and greeting. So they a ran out the door. They still couldn't see where they were gone. The lights came back on and all the folk started cheering and went back to the Akele. They were a uh, blethering and having a good time together, singing songs and dancing. Then Ma Monster went home and took her breeks and gutties off and fell onto her bahookie and she laughed and laughed, then went to bed. Wow, Ella, what a fantastic piece of writing. You must be so proud of yourself. So many Scots words here used in your description and lots of detail as well to give the reader a clear idea of what is happening. Sounds like your monster had a super time at the Cayley. Well done, Ella. So for your learning and your writing today, we are going to be focusing on Scottish weather. And as I was making this PowerPoint for the video, it was very, very rainy outside. But if, as I'm looking out my window now, there's so much snow. And I'm sure all of you will see the same when you look out of your windows. Lots of snow and a blizzard is happening at the moment too. But in Scotland, the weather is often very wet and miserable. And even in summer, we still get lots of rainy days. What adjectives could you use to describe the weather we get in Scotland? Remember, adjectives are describing words. So what are some of the words you think we could use to describe the weather we get here in Scotland? Let's have a look at some together. So here are some of the adjectives I've come up with that we could use to describe Scottish weather. Got cold, wet, windy, cloudy, gloomy, miserable and rainy. Can you think of any others? So for today's task, you're going to be writing a descriptive piece of writing all about Scottish weather. You will use Scottish vocabulary to describe weather in full sentences. Here's a Scottish poem all about Scottish rain. This is one of my favourite poems. How many of these words do you recognise and understand? Let's read it together. This might help inspire you when you come to write your description of the Scottish weather. Get in your neb, lugs, under the oxter's tay. On your heat, in your een, till your drook it can. And it's I called and gaze sideways. Wit, warm rain, nay here, maybe in Spain. Woke up this morning, crawled out to bed, kicked out the windy pane. Oh no, raining again. I really love this poem because it shows how wet and miserable it is in Scotland and uses lots of descriptive words to describe which part of the body parts get all soaking wet and exactly what the rain is like in Scotland. So maybe you can use some of the words in this poem to help you write your description all about Scottish weather. Here is a word bank for you to use with lots of words you might want to use when you're doing your description all about Scottish weather. Please remember to use full sentences and try to lengthen your sentences and add more detail by using sentence connectives. And when you're doing your writing, try to include at least three descriptive sentences about the weather. Here's an example sentence for you using a connective. In Scotland, it's I druk it and druk. But when it rains, I get to jump in the Baltic dubs. 
There's lots of Scottish vocabulary used just in that one sentence. What that translate to, translates to in English is, in Scotland, it's always very wet and miserable, but when it rains, I get to jump in the freezing cold puddles. So your word bank is in your learning pack and of course it's on here in the video so if you want to pause the video and have a look at some of the Scots words and what they mean in English you can do that and get a parent or someone at home to help you with some of the words as they're a little bit tricky to pronounce. So on the Scots list here we've got druket which means very wet, drich which is miserable, cold means cold, snow is snow that sounds quite similar. Blow in a hooli means a strong wind or gale. Chankin means freezing. Baltic means very cold, so quite similar to chankin. Flaggy is a large snowflake, which we've seen lots of this week. Fair gillet means to feel as cold as ice. So you might have felt a bit fair gillet today if you were building snowmen or going sledging. Sump is a sudden, very heavy burst of rain. Plowatiri means probably the messiest weather there is when it's all a bit rainy, grey and miserable outside. A fiefal is a magical, happy snow shower, the kind that makes you want to dance to frozen songs. So maybe if you really like the snow, you might want to use the word fiefal in your description. And dubs is Scottish puddles. So lots of words there to choose from and you can also use the Scottish Translator website if there's any words that you would like to to use in your writing that aren't on the word bank. So I've attached this picture here to help you write your sentences about Scottish weather using Scots language but of course we've got amazing weather at the moment with lots of snow outside so if you want to just look out your window to feel inspired to write your descriptive piece then that's okay. You have a template for your writing in your home learning pack that looks like this and it's also available on Teams or on the school's website. Try to use VCOP to up-level your sentences, so that's interest vocabulary, sentence connectives to add more detail, different openers for your sentences to make your writing even more interesting, and remember to make sure you've punctuated your sentences so that they make sense, so full stops and capital letters or commas, any punctuation you'd like to use. And if you want to, you could pause the screen here so you can see and zoom in on some of the vocabulary, connectives, openers and punctuation you could use to make your writing even better. So if we have a look at the vocabulary section, you might spot some words that you would like to use like beautiful, enormous, maybe you built an enormous snowman. Um, what else have we got here? Thunderous, that's a good word to describe the weather. But remember, you would need to go onto the website, the this, this translator website, and see if you can find out what these words are translated to in Scots. You've got some connectives, like and, but, if, which adds more detail to your sentences. Openers are different ways to start your sentences. So you can have a look at these here got then, if, next, and of course punctuation, capital letters, full stops, question marks, commas, exclamation marks, whatever punctuation you would like to use. So remember you can pause it here so you can use some of the VCOP. So as a challenge task, could you learn Scottish Rain by Tom Bryan and recite it at home? Could you use your new Scots vocabulary to write a poem about Scottish weather? What would your poem be called? Can you think of a title using some Scots vocabulary? Good luck with your writing this week, everyone. I look forward to seeing it on Teams. And remember, if you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Speak to you soon. Bye.